Hey, Concord Station, it's Jim Steele with REMAX Champions with your Concord Station weekly update that doesn't happen every week, but I'm really going to try and get them out every week. So, hope you're having a good one. Um, let's not waste any time. We will jump right into this. Let's see what's happening in this area. I'm going to put this on the screen here so you can see what's going on. Okay, so starting at the top, we have a new couple of new listings. All right, let's go. We got... Uh, 18144 Glastonbury Lane. I sold one on Glastonbury. Thanks, Brett. I know that place. Uh, this just went on the market today. Three bedroom, two bath, 1340 square feet listed for $369.9. Um, I mean, it's $276 a square foot. That sounds ambitious, but we'll see what happens. Okay. I mean, you know, you never know. So, uh, that's fine. Okay. Listing number one. New listing number two. Also on Glastonbury. There is a mass exodus from Glastonbury, evidently. This one went on the market. Um, let's see. Today's Thursday. It went on the market on Monday. Okay. This one, 18051 Glastonbury. Uh, three bedroom, two and a half bath. Now, this one has a pool. That's nice. 1816 square feet. So at 258 a square foot, that seems a little more realistic. 469,000, uh, maybe, I don't know. We'll see, we'll follow these. So we'll keep you updated on these two. So there's two new listings. Um, now we have uh, another new list. No, this is not a new listing. Hold on a second, what is this? Okay, Dunstable. This is, now we're into the price decreases, okay? So this one is on Dunstable. And it was listed for 558. Yikes. Okay. Seller is now offering rate buy-down assistance. Well, they should. That's good. Buyer will save hundreds. Oh, by the way, speaking of rates, um, you saw the Fed, or maybe you didn't. The Fed cut the rates yesterday by a half a percent, which is more than the experts were thinking they were going to do. So this is cool. What does it mean? Does it mean rates are going to plummet? Not right away, but Right now, you can get an FHA loan in the low fives. This will probably push it into the high fours in the next month, maybe, by the time it all shakes out. So if you're thinking about buying, definitely reach out to me because I got a guy. I got a guy. Got a guy. But the rates are really going to be uh, pretty awesome. This is the first rate cut that the Fed has done in four years. So this is a big deal, okay? So back to this house. Uh, let's see. Um, so this bothers me a little bit. I'm going to tell you why. This house is $558,999, okay, that's fine. Look at this picture. The, the agent took a picture with their cell phone. Unacceptable. You know what, agent? You got a $560,000 listing. Spring for professional pictures, that's not good. That doesn't look professional. I mean, stage the house, you know, do something to try and help it sell. This is probably why it's been on the market 104 days, okay? So, you know what, do a better job, that's not good. All right, next, uh, Milton Keynes. Ooh, neat. I like the aerial. I'm not sure I would do that, but it's interesting. MLS, by the way, says we have to have a front picture of the house as our first picture. That is certainly not the front, but whatever. I wouldn't do that. That's just me. Um, this has been on the market 43 days. Five bedroom, three and a half bath, 3141 square feet. Um, price looks right. Huge price improvement. So they brought the price down. Let me see. How far did they bring it down? They dropped it 2.14%. Okay. That's legit. So they're at 655 now. They started this at 685. Ambitious again. It does have a pool though. And it's Milton Keynes is nice enough, but I don't know. I think that's too high. Okay. Next. Uh, Triple Hurst. Okay, six bedroom, three bath, private pool. Been on the market 79, we'll call it 80 days. Uh, 614.9. See, now this one's at a 196 a square foot. Much more realistic, I think. It's just big, 31, 31 square feet. I do like the uh, Matterport video there. That's nice. Mark Detalia is the agent. I do not know him, but that's at least he's doing a good job. That's good. That one will sell. It'll just take some time. Listen. Let me tell you this. Things are slow right now. We got an election coming up in a couple months. People are freaked out. They don't know what's going to happen. So buyers are standing back. So unless it's a really awesome deal, 
stuff is not moving. I mean, listings are sitting in, some of them are collecting dust. So it's up to the agent to make sure that they're keeping it fresh by either making price adjustments or doing open houses or, you know, having like a promotion like that one that we saw where they were buying the rate down. You got to do things like that to entice the, uh, the buyers. Okay. So that one's fine. Uh, what do we got here? Whitley Bay. Whitley Bay. What do we got on Whitley Bay? Whitley Bay. We did a quarter of a percent price drop. Oh, by the way, Chislehurst was 1.6%. So that's helpful. Quarter of a percent ain't going to really move the needle. Uh, it's going to be unnoticeable. People aren't even going to, it's not even going to notice that that happened. This house is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1698 square feet for 418. No pool, uh -uh, too high. Not going to happen. 90 days, it's going to be longer than that. Uh, I mean, again, a quarter of a percent makes no, $5,000 on a $400,000 house. That was a waste of time to even do that price drop. So I wouldn't have done it. Um, okay, next we got Burndall Court, 1.1% price drop. Yeah, I mean, that moves the needle a little bit. Let's look at this house, 626. So it was originally listed for 633, eh, respectable. Uh, 36 days on the market, 3210 square feet, five bedroom, three bath with a private pool. Um, okay, it's nice. I don't. I mean, I'd like to see more of a description from the agent. I mean, that's the shortest description ever for a $600,000 house I think I've ever seen. Let me see what's in here. Let's look at this house. All right, we got nothing. It's empty. I would stage it. it needs to be staged. Here's the thing. If, you have a, if you're trying to sell an empty house, listen, pay for the staging, okay? I do that for my clients. I buy the staging, right? Here's why. Empty houses are boring. They're boring to look at. Look at the pictures. There's a wall, a floor, ceiling, and sometimes counters if it's in the kitchen. That's it. There's nothing to see. You got to stage the house to make it exciting. Uh, it, that's just marketing 101. So I would stage this house and I would definitely revamp that description because it doesn't tell you anything about the house. Okay. The last one is a pending. All right. We got one pending. Let's go. We got Dunstable, 3201 Dunstable, went into contract. Let's see the story on this one. This house listed for dun, 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 $288,750. That's very specific. And it's in contract. Now, here's the thing, you guys. I don't know what it's in contract for. It could be in contract for $288,750. It could be in contract for $275. It could be in contract for $250. I have no way to know. Now. This is a short sale, all right? Now, listen, years ago, we had a lot of these. We had a ton of short sales. Like every listing was a short sale in like 2008, 2009 was madness. So this is a short sale. What that means is it means that this seller, unfortunately, was upside down in the house. They owed more to the bank than it was worth, than it is currently worth. So they are not um, able to pay off the mortgage if they sell it. So the bank has to agree to accept less than what they're owed. That's why it's a short sale. Um, they take a long time. They're very difficult. It would not surprise me to see this house back on the market because short sales are terrible to do. <laughs> okay. If you are in that situation, however, and like you're either in foreclosure, you're in default, you have a list pendants filed, you're upside down in the house, definitely reach out to me because I know how to deal with those things. And it's not sometimes nearly as bad as you think it is, okay? So that's my PSA on short sales. So that is it for the, uh, the neighborhood update for this week. I will do my best to get these out. I've had people reach out to me and really say they like these videos. Um, so again, I'll do my YouTube thing. Please like and subscribe for more videos, but I always post them in the, the one um, Facebook group. I'm not allowed to be in the other one because I was in the CDD and things went bad because I was a bad guy evidently, even though I'm not, but that's a story for another day. So um, anyhow, hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out here. I'll pop my info on the uh, screen. There's my email and phone number. Reach out, shoot me a text, give me a call, whatever. Also, I'm going to put in the description here. I have my own app, the Steel Home Team app. I just got it rolled out by Apple and, and Android. 
So I'm really excited about that. You can contact me in it. You can do property searches. It's all free. Just download it. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy. We're getting there end of summer. It's not going to be flaming hot for much longer. We can make it. So I hope you guys have a great one. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.